Hey guys, Coach Alex and Coach Sue here with Physique Development, and today we are going to cover a very complex form of the split squat, the front heel elevated, back foot elevated split squat. Tongue twister, take your time saying that one. So within this movement, we can do a couple of different things to bias either the quads or we can bias the glutes. One beautiful thing within this movement is the range of motion that we can establish within all muscle groups because of the pieces that are in place. So I will go ahead and have Sue get set up. The front heel being elevated allows for us to eliminate any of the uh, barriers that we would face within lack of knee flexion. So what I'm meaning by that is that the calf can act as a limiting factor within knee flexion and by elevating the heel it allows for us to mitigate that. With the back foot, if you've seen any of our other content within the split squats, we do not want a very high foot placement or for the foot to be in plantar flexion, but we want the the elevation of the back foot to just be enough to where the knee is not running into the ground. Now, as Sue is getting set up here, a couple of things is that we want to plant the foot very sternly into the, this back setting. By driving these toes into that platform, it allows for the rec fem to fully engage and act as a very quality stabilizer. Now, if we are to use this movement to bias the quads, our first action is going to be by driving the knee forward. This allows for us to fully lengthen the quads and target them in that lengthened position. So she is initiating by driving the knee forward and then her next action is simply driving the knee back. Perfect. Now, if we're going to bias glutes, our goal within this movement now is working in more of a vertical plane. She's going to slightly hip hinge forward with her upper body. Now she's going to simply drop down rather than driving that knee forward and then just come straight back up. So it allows for us to fully lengthen the glute max and really target the glutes within this movement specifically. This is a great movement for you to utilize within your training and biasing different musculature that you may be wanting to emphasize within your programming.